was really a mission to find the perfect crane for that project. First, we went to Istanbul and uh, the crane was too slow there. Then we went to Hamburg. In the end, it almost took us over a year to find the perfect spot to make the weight crane project happen. What's up? Good morning. Ja, voll geil. Da wir ja von oben 80 runter kommen oder wir 40, na 80, dann wird es dann ungefähr da den Scheiß machen. We also had some up and downs in the beginning. We can do it, but it's gonna be a mathematical science. Show us the place where it's gonna be, beginning at the end of the, uh, of the container, and then we're gonna fix the blocks. What we're gonna do next is put the weights in the water to anchor the containers to fix the whole setup. Postavljen je sidrni blokova. Znači u četvrove bit će se veza ponton tako da bager bude u sidrni. As you can see, the container is flipped over and uh, not hittable. The container seems to be filling with water and it's sinking right now. And uh, yeah, it's not really good. It's actually a, a drama. Now they're trying to lift it up, but we are all not sure if it's gonna work out. So, crossing fingers. No way. Look, the whole container is broken. Prijeli smo kontejner i zdaj probavamo zadevo, smo ga dali v vodo, zdaj filamo vodo noter, tako da vidimo plovnost, če bomo redu. Potem ga bomo spet dali na suho in nekaj probali narediti še ran po noter. What we did today was uh, we figured out the right angle of the kicker, the transition of the kicker, so we definitely get a good pop of it to make some good tricks out of it. Felix is a pretty creative rider. He's the guy who does the one foot tricks and uh, I think that's what makes us so, so different. I love being around these guys. Dominic, he's a pretty funny guy. <laughs> Sometimes he it's more like a, he still acts like a kid though. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the unique thing about Dom is yeah, he's a pretty radical rider. Like, he didn't need much try to, to land his tricks. I really like filming with him, just because we come from snowboarding and skating. I have a lot of respect 
for the crane operator. I really love just watching him. Every time someone would fall, he would just keep spinning the crane, and then the rope would catch a container or something, get stuck, and like launch the rope all over the place, and he would just sit in his, in his little uh, driver's seat and just be smiling and laughing about it. And he, was, he was funny. I don't know how many circles he did in the last two weeks, and uh, he always had fun watching us riding. Ovo je novo, novo iskustvo za mene, ja ima dosta godina svašta sam radio, ali ovako nešto još nisam do sada. I inače volim raditi sa mladim ljudima i jer u glavi sam još uvijek mlad. <laughs> Tako da mi je bilo jako ugodno. Brzina je bila najzahtjevnija stvar jer samo o milimetar dodat gaz, to znači povećati brzinu za neki desetak kilometara, što je jako, jako teško. Ako ste primijetili kako sam ja stalno kuckao onaj gaz, samo na kuckanje, nisam ga mogao dodati ovako. Jako malo ljudi još ima koji voze ovako stare kranove, ovo su američki kranove koji evo, dugo, dugo traju, ono ima preko 40 godina. Mehanika, nema elektronike, nema ništa i tu je stvarno baš osjećaj bitan. Bilo je malo, malo ovaj, siti bliski situacija, malo nezgoda kad smo prevrnuli ovaj kutiju ovu tu. A na vrh krana je bio jedan sa fotoaparatu čevi. Yeah, so for me it was super hard to land the trick out of the container because there was so much tension on the rope. So every time I did it, the crane pulled me on the back and I, I got so over it. And uh, I actually really thought like, oh man, I, I can't land it. It's impossible. And then uh, the guys told me like, hey man, you can do it, do it. really hard to actually ride behind that crane because it's a really, really strong pull. And I mean, everybody who tried water skiing or wakeboarding once knows how hard it is to actually hold on to the handle, even behind a boat or behind a cable. And on that crane, it's just like constantly whipping you around. So it's even harder to hold on to the handle. I mean, the hardest part for me was to like get used to it. It kind of took me, to be honest, it took me like two days. The first two days were really hard for me since you're like whipping around a full circle the whole time. It's so different and just so much more exhausting than riding a regular cable or riding boat or anything like that. We had some pretty unique obstacles in the course which no one have ever done before. This behind is a floating crane of capacity of 100 tons and we will use this floating crane to keep one container above the sea. And of course, this container will be also part of the game. Dadurch können wir den Container weiter reinsetzen. 
dreht es einfach so hin, dass man einfach straight die Ledge fahren kann, weil wenn dann die Wall weg, weg ist, muss man den Kicker wieder drehen, weißt du? So eineinhalb Meter oder so ist der Platz dazwischen, zwischen Kran und Stevic. Und jetzt kann man den Kicker nicht fahren, dass man auf die Wall kommt, oder was? Also aus dem Winkel will ich das sehen, ich glaube nicht. Einfach ausprobieren, schauen, ob es funktioniert, ähm, irgendwie geht schon. When I first saw the setup, especially the flying container, I was like, wow, I have no idea if this is gonna work out. I was the first one to hit that creeper ledge on the container. And when I rode past it for the first time, I was a little scared because it was like, what? Eight in the morning, it was pretty cold, and I looked at that thing, it was hanging pretty high, so it kind of got scary, but after a few laps of riding past it, I got over it and motivated myself to just send it, and at the end, it worked out pretty well. Yeah! Yeah, Tom! We had that cutout ledge on the flying container where you had to jump on the, on the wall of the container, and then you jumped down to a table. And I also had some uh, some hard bales on it. All the riders were just killing it on the setup and uh, had so many good tricks in it. circles barefooting and then at the end I was just boosting out of the container without the bindings on so I just went for a big dive and yeah that was really fun. I was so happy that uh, everything worked out perfect and then no one got hurt. Watch out, here comes trouble. Ah. Mm. Care for another helping, darling? Yes, my love. <laughs> Garçon! Red Bull gives you wings.